So U.S. Army drill sergeants are returning to AIT. What's going on guys? So today I'm going to talk about the drill sergeants coming back to AIT and replacing the platoon sergeants that have been there for the past 10 years or so. And you know, I thought about this video, you know, people have been requesting it for the longest amount of time because, you know, sometime around the end of last year, 2017, the army basically announced and was you know start talking about going through with this whole process of you know returning drill sergeants to AIT and I saw an article today or I saw something today saying that they should be returning sometimes toward the end of 2019 which means we got basically another year until drill sergeants are fully back and implemented or incorporated into AIT. So if you don't know what AIT is, it is the advanced individual training that you do after basic combat training whenever you join the military. And up until 10 years ago, drill sergeants were with you at basic training and drill sergeants were with you at AIT as well. You would go to basic training, then you would go to another post and you would do your AIT there. And 10 years ago, they changed that. They took away the drill sergeants. And doing this, the platoon sergeants basically made it a much more relaxed environment. It's not that they were necessarily relaxed, but there's a big difference in a regular NCO or a regular platoon sergeant and a drill sergeant. There is a big difference uh, in the mindset, the way you look at them, even being, you know, for me, out of basic training. Whenever I see a drill sergeant in a campaign hat, you know, I just see them, look at them differently, you know, respect them differently. You're always kind of maybe worried about what they're saying, what they're, whatever. Uh, I don't know, it's just a basic training soldier coming out to me or whatever. Uh, but drill sergeants are definitely gonna be a lot more strict than the platoon sergeants that are gonna be at AIT. So what are my thoughts on this? Do I think it's a good thing? Do I think it's a bad thing? What are some of maybe, maybe the pros and cons of this? Now, to be honest with you guys, I can't really think of any cons. The really only big con that I can think of has to do with the actual soldiers and then being like, oh my gosh, we're gonna have drill sergeants for even longer so you know infantry soldiers and like NPs I believe uh, well definitely infantry soldiers but I believe NPs as well uh, they do have drill sergeants all the way through but for other MOS's they didn't and so now that drill sergeants are gonna be coming back to AIT and you're gonna have drill sergeants at basic training then you're gonna go somewhere and you're gonna have drill sergeants at AIT a lot of the soldiers now maybe if you're thinking about joining you're just like oh my gosh this is going to be terrible like oh my gosh I don't want to have drill sergeants for a long time well first of all you don't really know what they're like yet but you're probably still gonna hate the idea when you're at basic training but the pro for you for those of you guys who are you know not even leaving for basic training yet is you're not gonna know the difference, right? You're gonna have basic train, you're gonna have drill sergeants at basic training, then you're gonna go to AIT and you're gonna have drill sergeants at AIT. Now the difference here is when you have your drill sergeants at basic training, you know, they're trying to convert you from a civilian to a soldier, they're trying to break you down and then build you back up. But when you get to AIT, there's not going to be that process. There's not gonna be this breaking down of, this, of a civilian and turning him into a soldier. The drill sergeants at AIT, in my opinion, obviously I didn't have drill sergeants at AIT, but I think that they'll be a little bit more like how they were like at reception. The drill sergeants at reception were drill sergeants who have already done several different cycles at uh, the normal basic training and they're about to you know, finish out their time as a drill sergeant, then they go to the reception battalion and they're a lot more relaxed there, right? Uh, they're obviously still more strict than other NCOs, but they're definitely much more relaxed and actually kind of have conversations with people, whereas drill sergeants are like totally standoffish. You don't really actually have a conversation with the drill sergeant until maybe like the last couple weeks, the last week of basic training, if that. So the drill sergeants at basic training are just different, you know, different kind of people, different NCOs that you don't actually develop a connection with. When you're at AIT with platoon sergeants, it's a little bit more of you create, you have a connection with the platoon sergeant. Like they know you, you know them. At least that's how it was for me. You know, my platoon sergeants, you know, the people that were in my AIT, the platoon sergeants there, it was definitely more like that, right? You could actually go up and talk to them, maybe even joke around with them and stuff. But drill sergeants, you don't do that. Now, one of the reasons that the Army has decided to do this is because of the lack of discipline of soldiers coming out of AIT and actually going to their units, right? So they're trying to bring back drill sergeants and put them at AIT so that there's more of a structure for a longer period of time to actually soldierize, you know, civilians to soldiers and stuff. So hopefully the goal would be that whenever you switch out a platoon sergeant with a drill sergeant, they're gonna be a lot more strict. You know, they're not gonna be letting a whole bunch of things go and, you know, slide or whatever that a normal platoon sergeant would let slide. And 
because of that, once they get to their actual unit, they should be more disciplined than otherwise if there was just platoon sergeants. And I would have to agree with this, honestly. I think that, you know, for me, myself, I don't think it would have made like such a huge difference because I do respect authority and leadership really no matter what. And you know, if, if a person who's higher than me and rank tells me something to do, that you you just do it. I do it. I respect the rank structure in the military. I hope that people under me will respect the rank structure, you know, whenever I become an officer. And so I try to do that myself. So if somebody is higher than me, they tell me, they give me an order, they tell me to do something, then I do it. And I can see that there would definitely be a problem with this for you know soldiers now You're going through basic training and then some AITs are just going to be super duper relaxed and they get in that relaxed state and some of that soldierness starts to wear off of them. Then they get to their unit and their unit is just like, oh my gosh, this soldier is effed up. Like what the heck? Like did you not go to basic training? You know, you're not even marching correctly. Like you can't stand still in formation. The basic things is what really makes you a soldier and drill sergeants really nail you and you know beat on your head like beat you with the basics of being a soldier so i'm not exactly sure how this is going to work out but i actually do think that this is a positive thing overall in the military or in the army i actually do think this is a positive thing the only thing that i'd be concerned about one of the really you know positive things for me whenever i was at ait was that connection you know with my platoon sergeant right and actually feeling like I could be able to talk to them, actually feeling like I could do that. And with drill sergeants, you don't really feel like you can do that. They are your leaders and stuff, and you can at, to an extent. Uh, but my platoon sergeant, I thought, was fantastic. And, you know, I'm just hoping that the drill sergeants don't maintain the total, complete strictness that they do whenever they're at basic training because you do want to have NCOs that you can go and talk to, that you're not scared of going and telling them something, right? You want to have that as an NCO. So the drill sergeants, I do expect to be more relaxed and I do hope that they will be able to be approachable, right? Because uh, I think that is actually a really important thing because once you're in AIT, you're out of basic training, you're officially a soldier. Some AITs are gonna be really long and you're gonna be there with those instructors for a long time. A lot of times, longer than the 10 weeks that you're going to be there at AIT. So if you're going to be there with a person who is in charge of you for a long period of time, you want there to be some kind of relationship there to where they're not extremely standoffish to where you feel like you can't actually talk to them, maybe about literally personal troubles, because that is something that your leaders in the military are going to have to know about their personal, their soldiers, right? So as a platoon leader, whenever I become an officer, I need to know you know, what's going on with my platoon? I need to know, you know, is this person having issues going on at the house? Is this person having financial issues? Those are things that you may think, why would you want to know that? Why would you need to know that? But in the military, those are things that are actually really important, right? Those are really important things for the unit's readiness, right? So if a soldier is having issues at home, if they're having financial issues, if they're doing things that they shouldn't be doing, that could break down the team that they're in, that could break down the squad that they're in. So you, as a leader, need to know that stuff so that you could help them with whatever is going on. So those are my thoughts on drill sergeants coming back to AIT. And I do have one thing that I wanna ask any of you prior service guys, right? This is literally a question. You can leave your, your comment down below. I'm just curious, right? Obviously, I didn't have drill sergeants at my AIT. I had platoon sergeants. But if you did go to basic training prior to 10 years ago, whenever you were at uh, you know, whatever school, right? And you had drill sergeants at AIT. Let me know, let the other people in the comment section down below know what your experience was because, you know, just one experience, one experience talking to you guys does not tell the entire whole story. So if any of you guys have personal experience with this, you know, not just infantry soldiers because they've had drill sergeants the entire time, right? So that hasn't changed. But for example, if you were a 25 Bravo, you went to, you know, basic training, 20 years ago or something. Then you went to AIT, 25 Bravo School at AIT, and you had drill sergeants there. What were the drill sergeants like there? Were they a little bit more relaxed, whatever? I'm just curious. Leave your comments down below if you are a prior service soldier watching this video and you made it to the end. So if you did make it to the end of this video and you did enjoy this video, hit that like button. That would be awesome. If you want to stick around for some more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. That would be even better. Recently, I just found out that YouTube doesn't actually show everybody, you know, the whole subscription things if I upload a video or whatever. So if you want to hit that notification button, that little bell button or whatever, you can go ahead and do that. As always, if you're not following me on social media, Instagram and Snapchat links are right here. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys later.